Whether we like it or not, AI art generators are going to completely revolutionize how you sell online. And yes, it's completely legal. However, with it does come some limitations, meaning that you can't just expect to upload whatever art you come up with on Etsy and get sales. So I'm gonna share with you in today's video how you can sell AI art that's going to rank high on Etsy and actually get you sales. So let's get started. Now, the first step is to put ourselves in the shoe of our customer. Obviously with these AI art generated tools, it's just as easy for our customer to create the art they've always wanted and print it on a poster, Canva file, or do a digital download. Second of all, it's important for you to be completely transparent as to the fact that your art is AI generated. Now, what you will want to do is ensure first and foremost that you have a high perceived value, that individuals understand what is so unique about the prints that you are making available for them. So you're gonna also have to create art that is unique in its own way, that would be hard for your customer to replicate on their own. So just to give you an example, if you were, for instance, to create giraffe in a universe setting, let's say, well, chances are that your customer can do that just as easily. The second thing that's also going to dictate your success is whether or not there's demand for that particular artwork. So I'm, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what is needed to understand whether or not there's a demand in the marketplace and whether or not these are products that have potentials or mo I should say designs that have potential. So first and foremost, it's always important to take a step back, put yourself in the shoe of your customer and understand what their motives are when they're going on Etsy. What is the purpose of this gift and how can you come in as a seller and provide something that's very unique and has a high perceived value? Now, the first step is to understand what is actually selling on Etsy at the moment. And what I'm interested more specifically is understanding the kind of art Art that people are wanting to buy on Etsy, whether it's for decoration or is for digital download. A tool that I like to use is called Insight Factory as it provides you with different products that are trending and it also gives you insights as to what people are currently purchasing. So if we do a quick search for art, as you can see framed art, we have this AI product that is doing rather well. So obviously I'm going to double click on this to get a sense as to where their traffic is coming from, the kind of tags that they're using. So we can see that they're using AI art, AI created art, AI generated art, AI rendered, etc. It doesn't look that they've had any sales for the last seven days, but it's been favorited 55 times. So I would be saving this to my list as I want to go back and understand what are the elements that is making this art piece an item that people want to purchase. Now, as you can see, there's also office wall art, home decor, Canva art. So your job really is to go through some of these items that are selling and understand the psychology as to why they're selling. And you're gonna do two things. First, you're gonna look at the art itself to understand what makes it unique. And then additionally from that, look at the tags and the tags is gonna tell you the reason why people are actually purchasing these items. So that's the first step. Now, the second thing that I would do is actually go directly on Etsy, look at the listing and dissect to understand what makes this particular art piece so unique and why people are interested in it. As you can see, this is a rather complex artwork. Somebody who has access to AI art generated tools would not be able to create this on their own. It's very creative and there's different elements that kind of make it feel a little bit on the psychedelic side. So ensuring that you understand all these elements and then integrate that within your artwork is going to be fairly important. 
So those are the two things. I want you to go on Insight Factory, look at what people are currently purchasing, understand the reason for their purchase. Is it because they want art for a home decoration or is it for an office? Then you're gonna go within the, each listing to understand what makes the art piece so unique. Understand as well the psychology of why are people really wanting to have this artwork? What are some of the elements in your you know, by just by just looking at it, that makes it so unique. So in this case, like I mentioned, it's something a little bit on the psychedelic side. So chances are that's why people are interested in this artwork. Now, besides going on these research tool and seeing what is in high demand, I also encourage you of doing the exercise of simply going on Etsy, including AI generated art, and do a quick browse to see what are some of the items that your competition is currently selling. This is going to give you intel as to how you're going to be able to differentiate yourself from all these competitors and also get a sense as to, okay, what is a recurring theme that I am seeing? So a recurring theme that we can see obviously is AI generated portraits. Now, obviously keep in mind that customers have access to the same tools as you do. So it'll be really important for you to create something that is going to really differentiate itself from what is available to them in order for them to purchase that. And then obviously adding the element that you're going to go ahead and print that in a Canva and a poster, etc. You always need to add this element of what is your unique proposition? What is the value? Uh, that you're providing these customers that they wouldn't be able to get this on their own. Once you've done the due diligence of understanding what is currently available in the marketplace, you're gonna go to OpenAI, it's doll E2, and you're gonna log in or create an account. Once you're inside, all you're gonna have to do is type the kind of art that you want the AI generator to create for you. So in this case, let's say, Based on our research, I would do psychedelic uh, painting. And then essentially it's gonna feed you different options. Okay, so these are the different options. I'm not really loving what I'm seeing, so I would include psychedelic painting mixed with nature shots and add some rainbows. So this is gonna be the part where essentially it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error for you to figure out how to use this AI generator to create art that really speaks to you. So this is looking a little better for me. So what I would do essentially is just go ahead and um, open this in the new tab. You can also edit it accordingly and then you're gonna go ahead and save this. Once I have created my artwork, then I'm gonna go to E-Rank to identify some tags or potential opportunity within Etsy. So I've included AI art generator, and I'm gonna look for items that have a little less competition. So, and understand how can I leverage this knowledge for the listing that I'm about to upload. So art commission, I'm assuming that this is anything that would involve the customer having a personalized AI art for them. So this is something that you could potentially have in Etsy. As you can see, there's a li little less competition. Um, and then there's, let's see, Islamic wall art as well, has less competition, three-piece wall art, press flower, personalized wall art for her. So essentially, what I'm trying to look for here is opportunity in the marketplace. Now, as far as going for items that are more competitive, you absolutely can, but I think when you're getting started, it's best to really start where there is a little less competition so you can rank your listing much faster. So once I've done sort of the due diligence of looking at what is currently trending, um, what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna also go back, I'm gonna take a notepad and I'm gonna include all these potential tags that are going to help me um, 
get traction for my listing. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create Canva art that people can buy essentially like a big canvas for. And I'm going to go back to Insight Factory to see what are some of these best sellers using as far as tags. I know that we identified earlier that office wall art might be a good tag to use, but essentially you want to create a notepad and have 13 tags that you can leverage for your listing. So again, I'm going to go back to Insight Factory. This is one of the listings that's getting a lot of traction. I'm looking at some of the tags that they're using. I'm going to copy those tags and then I'm going to copy the tags as well for, uh, for some of those listings that are getting a decent amount of sales. Office wall art could be a really good one. Home decoration, abstract painting, etc. So now the next step is for me to choose a print on demand supplier that I'm going to use in order to upload my artwork. And by the way, today I'm only showing you how to create Canva art or poster, but please also keep into consideration that once you have an art piece that's doing well, you could literally upload it to any product that you like, whether it's phone cases, mugs, etc. Obviously you'd have to do the research to make sure that there is demand for it, but simply for today's purposes of this video, just wanna show you how to create Canva art from AI art generated. Uh, softwares. Now the next step would be to choose a print on demand supplier. I personally love Gelato because they have facilities in 33 countries which enables you to sell even outside the USA. Now you can also integrate Gelato directly with your Etsy store and they have a variety of products. So like I mentioned, for today's video, we're go I'm going to show you how to upload your AI generated artwork within a Canva. But in the future, once you start getting traction for those designs, then you could go ahead and upload it to phone cases, mugs, the list goes on. So what we're going to do is you're going to sign up for a free account. By the way, use this code right here to get 60% off your first order. Now, once you're inside, you're going to go under store. This is my dummy account. Um, I don't use this Etsy store. So what you're going to do is you're going to integrate and you're going to connect your new store. Once you have done that, you're going to go to add product and you're going to add a product. So in this case, we're going to do wall art and we're going to do a canvas. So as you can see, it's super easy to use. What we're going to do is we're going to upload the files um, that we've created. And then we're also going to decide whether or not we want the artwork to be horizontal or vertical. Um, you can also decide how thick you want it to be, etc. So this is very easy for you to use. Um, as far as the sizing goes, I mean, I recommend using all these sizes is gonna be really confusing for your customer. So I would say try to pick five to six sizes that um, your customer can purchase. I would give them the option of having um, a rather large Canva, then a medium Canva, and then kind of like the in-betweens, right? So this is my recommendation. Then you're gonna to continue to mock up. You're gonna do review and you're gonna go ahead and our, add your design. Um, so you're gonna go under files, you're gonna choose files. So in this case, we can use this uh, for the example. This is something that I had created and then you're gonna create your mockups. Now for the mockups, um, it's important like these don't show sort of how big the item is and it doesn't do it justice. So you might want to create mockups on your own. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Simply because we want to make sure that the mockups really well represent um, the art piece. So in this case, it's, um, it's a little too small. I would have to go back and change those mockups. So it really shows how big the painting is and something that you could do as well. Um, is essentially um, create them on your own by using a software which is called Place It. Um, so I'm gonna include the link right here for you guys to um, check that out as well. But anyways, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go to continue detail. Now what I love about Gelato is that it enables you to essentially create your titles and your description directly within their app. So when it comes to the title, obviously I wanna use um, some of the keywords that I have found that have a low competition and I know is going to help rank my listing rather fast. So in this case, AI generated wall art, and then I might want to include um, 
office, art, home decoration, from whatever I took from the research, right? And whatever I know that has a little lower competition and people are actively searching for. Now, my recommendation as well is to change this around as well. So it does a better job explaining what the artwork is about. So AI generated wall art, um, and then explaining like universe, AI generated, etc. So obviously for the purpose of this video, um, I'm kind of skipping some of this content. And so then when it comes to tags, essentially you're gonna include all the tags that you have in your notepad. So in this case, let's say home decoration, AI generated art, AI art, uh, universe, AI universe, etc. So again, take everything that you have found through eRank and Insight Factories, so use some of the tags that the competition is using and include all of those directly within the tags. And then um, show product to store visitors. Um, no, and display with free shipping on your storefront. And then you're gonna continue to prices and then you're gonna decide what the retail price should be for each of these items. And then you're gonna go ahead and publish it. Now to summarize, the key is to understand where there's a demand, what are people actively purchasing? You're gonna do that by going on Insight Factory and looking at some of the artwork that's already selling. You're also going to look at their tags to understand what people are searching for. Are they searching for home decoration? Um, office wall art, etc. Based on that research, then you're gonna create a unique AI art generated art piece. Um, that's actually very important. You wanna make sure that what you are providing them feels unique, not something that they could easily recreate on their own. Then you're gonna decide what product to upload it in. Based on the research that I provided in this video, we would wanna create wall art. And once you've done that, you upload it with all the important tags. So tags that have less competition is gonna help rank your listing much faster. Additionally from that, you're gonna also include some of those tags that have high searches as well. Make sure that you include some of those important keywords within your description and then upload your listing. As far as the product mockups are concerned, make sure to use placeit.net, it's gonna give you really high quality mockups that you can include within your Etsy listing because it's important for your customer to see how big the Canva work art can be. Something that's much bigger obviously looks way more luxurious than these little small Canva art uh, mockups that we saw within the Gelato platform. And then finally, I encourage you to upload as many listings as possible the key here is to get data based on what's working, what's not, what are people favoriting. So the more listings you have uploaded, I would say anywhere between 10 to 20 to even 50 listing, the more chances you have of really cracking it and finding a bestseller. So I know that it might sound like a lot, but it's important for you to have that data, especially when you're getting started and you don't necessarily have a pulse as to what has potential within Etsy. Thanks for watching guys. All the links that I shared in today's video are available in the description. If you have any questions, make sure to add them in the comment section and make sure to follow for more tips like this. Bye guys.